Well, moving on, a potential flashpoint looms in southern Romania. As far as jury footballers, eyes, Dale Ocha and Daniel Amokachi, amongst other super ex super eagle stars, have been on the receiving ends of threats from the Amazonian Restoration Forces. This development follows their acceptance of an invitation by Samuel Eto, the president of Colonial Football Federation, FECAFOOT, to partake in a ceremonial football match set to be held in Victoria City, Southern Cameroons, on November 30th, 2023. Now, a stark warning has been articulated by Gabonese, the spokesperson for the Amazonian Restoration Forces, delineating the repercussions of neglecting orders from Amazonian's authority. Another message by Gabonese elucidates their stance. In a bold declaration, the Restoration Forces of the Amazonian Interim Government have issued a stark warning to distinguished Nigerian football personalities such as the former national team captain Austin J.J. O'Culture and Daniel Omokichi. This alarming threat is in direct response to an invitation from Samuel Eto, currently serving as the president of FECA Food, regarded by them as a football association of the colonial French Cameroon government. The severity of this warning was further emphasized through an audio message from the spokesperson of the Amazonian Restoration Forces, who declared their anticipations, the repercussions for disregarding the commands of the Amazonian authorities. Now, let's listen to Gabonese audio. <laughs> Fellow Southern Cameroonians, Ambazonians, today, on November the 27th, Monday, 2023, this one, now on ARF, Ambazonia Restoration Forces spokesperson and Ambazonia National Self Defense Council at the top for a live for home front. Fellow Ambazonians, at the camp today, this morning. I want to salute for all our brave free marshals, generals, commanders, colonels, and foot soldiers who are fight hard for defending Ambazonia. So, hands of French Cameroon, barbaric and terrorist soldiers will be sent by the Bartholomew, the terrorist, sponsored by France, supported by some other criminal Western nations. Fellow Ambazonians, at the camp this morning, where we get this message for Senate for Ambazonianism inside Victoria, where they call themselves Limbe by the first. Administrators, where the interim government will be led by Dr. Sawe Sako Ekome, we send message for all Wuna for inside Victoria, where they call a number Nase Limbe, say Mekuna be on high alert. I will not declare Wednesday and Thursday for total lockdown, shut down inside Victoria in particular, where it means say no motor you need to cross Mutengene, enter Victoria. Victoria it be total shut down for that two days. I repeat, Wednesday and Thursday. Whether the 29th and the 30th of November 2023, we're gonna be on high alert and we're gonna stay indoors, we're gonna stay safe. No come out, you go find yourself for explosive or for bullet. Now, you know, we don't tell our civilians, say Saudi Cameroons, a day at war. Nobody, you can organize a gala match on the blood of our people. Which war is still go on? This war will fight na gorilla tactic and a gorilla welfare. We appear anytime, disappear anytime. Don't be a victim, stay in your house and stay safe. And any person, what will take note for you? Say, don't come over for gala match for go celebrate with terrorism and their accomplices and their agents. If you not finish that match, you hold road for the go yaoundi because we will hunt you down. This war na do or die affair. Any man want to stay alive for see the sweet Ambazonian freedom in the future. Follow the rules and stay safe. Don't try it. The days ahead are deadly. No mercy. We are not to be tell make we not stay for our houses. Victoria in particular, Limbe, it be shut down completely. For Wednesday 29 and Thursday the 30 of November 2023. Take special note. All the kind of people, them businessmen, taxi men, will not shut down our businesses for that two days. We're not there for wealthy criminals like a Tofis and his agent, like JJ Okocha, Omokache Evi. So those criminals, when they never ever Sunday rally themselves for 10 international community, say they genocide in the southern Cameroons. So we know what I them. When I remember what you're for Bamenda, where this criminal Shinarambo, where come from Nigeria, you want to act film, take French Cameroon uniform, Wellam, the terror says she shed no day, but Ron Terry says she shed a day. You know, follow the rules, you follow the cops to the grave. This time you survive now for lucky. We tell all Nambazonians, make we not stay at home, we not stay safe. 
Don't be a victim. Short sure live the struggle. May God bless Amazonia. Oh, well, the underlying question remains. Why has La Republic du Cameroon chosen to bypass all the stadiums east of the Mongo River and favor hosting events in the Southern Cameroon's war reading zone? The implication appears to be a deliberate assertion of control over an area they have occupied for more than six decades without rightful claim. By proceeding with this event, La Republic du Cameroon seemingly intends to portray a sense of control over the region's escalating tensions, suggesting it is an internal conflict that is under management, whereas evidence suggests otherwise. The interim government of Amazonia opposes the tournament, labeling it a travesty and a mockery of the struggles faced by the people of Amazonia. They have stressed that such participation by international stars like Okotra and Omokachi would put them at serious risk. Well, adding to the region's instability, an incident involving renowned Nigerian actor Sylvester Madu on the 25th of November encapsulates the danger Madu narrowly escaped with his life following an attack by unidentified gunmen a relocation gathering in Bamenda, which was attributed to his invitation by a French Cameroon's film production company. The attack led to chaos and underscored the volatility of the area. Now, the message from the interim government is unequivocal. There is a war in Amazonia. In the light of this, they have announced a comprehensive lockdown in Victoria City and the entire Faco County on the day of the tournament. This lockdown comes with a severe edict. All residents must remain indoors with the threats of death looming for those who disobey. This decree serves as a grave reminder of the persistent danger and a warning to those who might inadvertently be seen as supporters of what is viewed as colonial propaganda. Well, the interim government has expressed profound reservations regarding both timing and the venue for the tournament, challenging Samuel Eto'o's judgment in choosing to hold the event in Victoria, an area beset by conflict for more than seven years now. The government articulates valid concerns over the possibility of the situation being exploited and strongly encourages Nigerian football celebrities to reevaluate their participation in order to avert any inadvertent escalation of violence. This ongoing dispute serves to further complicate the already tense relationship between the Republic of Cameroon and the leadership of Amazonia.